Hello everyone. Welcome to all on Nantik's world. So, I am once again back with a new experiment. Today we will learn about sink or float. Let's first off all see will this ball sink or float. Oh, it's floating. And how about this? Temper bell. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it sinks. So, friends, you know why objects all sink float. So, friends, you know why objects sink or float. Called buoyancy, the ability of something to float or sink. If the object is less dense, it it will float. It will float. If the if the object is more dense, it will sink. So let's try this object. Put them in water and see which one floats and which one and which one sinks. So, what all we have? We have balloon. We have balloon, stone, basketball, monster truck, toys, and a an airplane. Let's try with balloon. Oh, it floats. Wow. So we what we learn? It less dense than water. So what next? Oh, we have stones. They are smaller than balloon. Let's see. Oh, they sing. Wow. So, what does this mean? These, these stones are more dense than water. They sing all the way to the bottom wow i am learning new things today next up is basketball it's heavy and it's big oh oh what you guys notice it it floating in water what does that mean? It's less dense than the water, even if big and heavy. So, what makes it float? It's hollow and full of air. That why it's less dense than water. So let's understand once again. Any width is less than than water. It will float. Any width is more dense than water. It will sink. Let's try a few more toes. Yep. We have Toy car. Let's see. Three, one, two, and three. Oh, it sings. It it means it does not have air in it. Not the one. It's airplane. Okay. Oh, it floats. Me, it hollow, 
from inside. Do you know that house explode? They are safe in such a manner that their most part is above water and hot and full of air. So that was something float and something sinks. Hope you all learn something new today. Do try at home. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye. See you again.